Cool, seventeen. So I mean, do you usually wake up that early for meetings, or we're just doing that just for the webinar? I think uh, for quarter past four in the morning is a I is a little early. I would, you know, but I I have had five a.m. meetings or six a.m. meetings. It's you know, you're in New Zealand where it's just what we have to do. But yeah. Okay, just give me a second. We'll go live on on LinkedIn and YouTube, and you're ready to go. Okay, okay, already. Let me start sharing, and we'll go go from here. Uh, just give me a sec. Where is everyone joining us from today? You can let us know. Okay, hello guys. Uh, thank you for joining our event today uh, as you know we're organizing uh, this webinar series where we call them health talks and partners and we do that for a specific reason you know we're experts in one thing but how we have around 300 partners who are experts in different topics about e-commerce sellers and of course by doing that we help sellers we educate them so you can guys made can make an educated decision otherwise i mean if you don't have the proper information you're not doing anything which doesn't help your business it doesn't help anybody in the long term so one of my favorite quotes is you miss 100 percent of the shows that you don't take so this is what we do we give you 100 options you just need to take and take a chance so today uh, our topic is how to put your vat in accounting on autopilot i know that you guys hate taxes me too as well i'm an ex-business owner so i hate taxes but you honestly you don't have a choice you need to be compliant otherwise i mean you might get in trouble you don't want to do that because you want to concentrate on your business so we'll discuss uh, how to successfully automate your accounting in the vat compliance if you're doing that in europe and if you're running an e-commerce business and today with me it's ellen main uh please uh, congratulate her because she woke up five in five a.m to, for this webinar so she's an early bird and she'll tell more about a to x what they're doing and how they're helping e-commerce sellers and after that i'll tell you guys about europe vat and how you can expand to europe here is the short agenda uh first everyone will tell you how to accurately and easily account for all your e-commerce revenue and then because sync is believing and like with the food you always first eat your with your eyes we'll we'll do a demo for you and after that i'll tell you about the boring vnt in europe which you need to be compliant with and how to uh, automate that and i'll do a demo for our tool which was built by our co-founders who used to be e-commerce sellers and then at the end we'll have the q a section and you can ask all your questions in the meantime in the chat or in the q a section and if you have to leave, I mean, don't worry about that. We will send the recording to everybody who registers for the event. So uh, thanks again, Elon, for waking up that early and tell us what you guys are doing, what is your company about, and just tell us now uh, what you guys are doing and how you're helping e-commerce sellers. Yeah, of course. Hey, first of all, thank you for inviting us to speak to everyone today. Accounting is not a topic that everyone loves, but unfortunately, it is something that we need to do. And actually, if we do it right, can be really beneficial for our businesses. So A2X is an automated e-commerce accounting solution. It um, sits in between an e-commerce, your e-commerce platform and your accounting system, and it's going to automate accurate accounting for you. That's going to reconcile to those bank deposits that are hitting your bank account. So I'm Alan Main, and I am have been at the company for the past three years, and it has been super exciting to watch it grow and to watch all the sellers that A2X has been helping. And yeah, ultimately today I love sharing the A2X solution because I know it is going to make um, e-commerce businesses and their accountants life so much easier. Oh, 
sorry, let's let's get into this. Cool. So what is A2X? A2X automates best practice e-commerce accounting for Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, Walmart, and eBay sellers worldwide. So currently A2X is supporting those major e-commerce platforms. And if you're selling on one of those platforms, then you need A2X. And I will go into and explain why. Now, a lot of people, um, you probably are aware at this point if you have an e-commerce business, and this does usually come as a bit of a surprise to people, but e-commerce is not like a regular brick and mortar store or a regular, you know, a physical store. Um, unlike with, e I'm sorry, unlike a physical store, the bank transactions or the transactions are occurring through the sales channel and not through the bank account. So it's really hard to actually match up what sales are matching what deposits. Uh, there's high transaction volumes that are coming through. Um, sellers are receiving lump sum deposits into their bank account after the fees have been taken away. There's hundreds of fee types, especially if you sell on Amazon. Uh, and then if you're selling around the world, there's multiple currencies, settlements that span across the month's end. You've got timing differences. If you're on Shopify, you could be offering several payment gateways. And it basically all of this makes uh, reconciling a nightmare. And reconciling is important because if your accounting is not, if your books are not reconciled, then that means something's gone wrong and you've not accounted for something correctly, which is a bit of a red flag. So you want to have everything accounted for so you have that accurate picture over your books, over your business, and you can make those informed decisions. Uh, now, this may look familiar, and this is just an example of the types of transaction volumes that you can be dealing with and actually putting that into a spreadsheet um, it actually, look, I'm sorry, it's quite hard on the eyes. <laughs> Putting that into a spreadsheet is actually going to crash Excel half the time. So drum roll, A2X. Now, A2X sits in, as, sorry, sorry, for some context, A2X sits in between your e-commerce platform like this and your accounting system. And this image shows a full picture of kind of what's happening. You've got your orders and fees and payouts and all your transactions going into A2X. A2X is sorting them all out for you and then sending a summarized journal entry or invoice for your zero. And that's going to match to that bank deposit that you've been paid from the e-commerce platform. So who is the A2X customer? A2X is uh, used by hundreds of leading e-commerce accountants globally. So they use A2X, they count on A2X to deliver accurate financials to their clients. And then of course, e-commerce businesses themselves. So we have thousands of e-commerce sellers worldwide who, you know, they could be just starting out, it could be a side job, or it could be their main source of income. They could be huge, small, there is an A2X plan for you. Um, A2X is very flexible and will scale with your business. Cool. So I just, is there any questions that have come through now? Or should I carry on and go straight into the demo? Uh, actually, well, I think we can answer one question. I, we don't have scripts on my side. So I have a, a question. A Twix, do you guys offer integration with Bilby? With Bilby? Yeah, it's a German uh, invoicing company. They're actually a partner of ours. No, we don't. Sorry, well, I have never heard of Bilby. What, what would you be hoping to achieve? Like, what would you be wanting to get out yeah, of that? They're, they're invoicing software. So you know what? I can I can connect you after the webinar. Right. And you can obviously, and and just to answer the question to the 10, you know, soon they can have an integration. They don't have right now, but soon they'll have. And this is what I do. I connect partners all the time and I have connected a to X with a lot of companies because obviously they're doing something right. But I think everyone you should continue and do the demo. And okay. then we have plenty of questions from people who are not able to join and from people here. So we can answer them then in the Q&A section. 
cool no problem look I've actually just taken screenshots of the live product so I can walk you through um, what you're kind of going to be working with what the setup is and what fun features uh, you have so when you sign up every uh, a to weeks always starts with a free trial now this is a great opportunity for you to see how it works to get it all connected to get it set up to your uh, pre preferences and also, you know, there's things like A2X can work out your order count and things like that. So you know which plan you actually need to be on. Sorry, I mean some technical. Oh, sorry about this team. All right. Okay. I do not know what's happening. That would be right. All right, okay, let's fingers crossed this is all working. Okay, so this is the A2X dashboard. So once you sign up for your free trial, you will land on this dashboard. Now, this is an example for Shopify. You will see that I interchange Shopify, Amazon, Zero, and QuickBooks as those are super popular platforms. And I just want to show you that they kind of all very similar, all kind of ultimately providing you with those same benefits. But you go ahead and you connect to your Shopify store. Everything's super secure. Um, and A2X will just connect to that. So it's straight through there. And then you go through and you choose to connect to which accounting system that you would like to connect to. Now, there is lot, there are the options to have uh, multiple, log, uh, multiple accounts attached to the one login. So you could have an Amazon, a Shopify, Walmart, all under that same login. And you are still setting these up individually. And so then we want to go through and we want to configure taxes. Now this is in your accounting, um, your account chart of accounts. So when you get to step three, this is where I would definitely recommend using an e-commerce accountant or a bookkeeper that kind of understands e-commerce because you want to be mapping these fields to the correct place. So A2X does have custom, really sorry, I'm having issues with my, don't know what's happening here. A2X does uh, have custom mapping. So it doesn't change anything in your um, e-commerce platform. It's read-only. With your accounting system, it, you can choose to use our default mappings and A2X will create these accounts for you in your Xero and your QuickBooks. And that just means that it's going to be able to break down all of your sales and fees and send them to the right chart of accounts in your accounting system. And this happens automatically. Or you can customize your own mapping. So some people have really specific needs and they're going to go, they might want to choose uh, which chart of accounts they want to map their transactions to. And that is totally up to them as well. So once you're all connected, this is what it's going to look like. You've connected to Amazon, you're zero, you've got your accounts sorted, and then you can actually post to your accounting system. Now, to start with, I would recommend you post them manually. You know, during your trial, post a couple of uh, settlements into your Zero account manually. And that way you can just make sure everything's set up to how you like it. And then you can go ahead and put it on autopilot. And it will auto post. So once a settlement comes in, A2X will sort it all out and then it will go straight into your accounting system. And all there is left for you to do is map. So you've got, you can see here, you've got, uh, your set the later settlements down here and what those look like is this. So you'll see that we've created one invoice for this settlement totaling $535.78 and this is going to match that bank deposit that is sent into your accounting system. And it's just, it looks exactly like this. If you click on that invoice, this is where we're mapping everything to. You can choose your tax rates, but ultimately it's going to reconcile to that bank deposit. So you're no longer trying to match which sales match which money. It's all done for you. And all you need to do is click um, match or OK and zero. Now for an audit trail, we do attach the raw data to a file as well. So you've got a full audit trail and you've got all of those transactions there attached. It's just going to protect your accounting ledger and but you do have that there if you need it. 
So this is an example of what it would look like once everything is set up properly. You simply come into your zero and you can see here that it's ready to be matched. So you've got A2X will send in a, sum, a summarized statement that is going to match that bank deposit. And all you, I mean, how beautiful is that? Just okay, 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 and you're done. Oh my goodness. There we go. I just, <laughs> and then I just wanted to give a QuickBooks example as well because people use, you know, QuickBooks or Zero, and this is how this will look as well. It will find that journal entry and match it to the amount received, and you can see all of the different payments coming through from the different platforms that A2X supports. Now there are lots of fun settings that you can play around with once you're familiar with the product. We have so many support articles, help videos, uh, and these are all the kind of different things you can look at. So you can group by product types, cost of goods sold, you can um, turn that feature on, you can add users. So once you're in that your free trial, you will have full access to this account and you can have a look and play around and use what is right for you. Now, I would also really recommend uh, finding an e-commerce accountant. It's so important to have an accountant that understands e-commerce and is going to help you in this industry. Like I've mentioned before, e-commerce is a lot different to, you know, those regular brick and mortar stores. So A2X, if you head to our website and head to the product that you're interested in. So if you're selling on Shopify, head there or Amazon, head there and there'll be a find an expert tab. And I do really recommend going along and um, putting in your filters and seeing if there's someone near you that can help you uh, with your books, help you get set up on A2X, anything like that. Cool. So why use A2X? A2X is trusted with, with a trusted solution which solves e-commerce accounting difficulties. We have thousands of sellers worldwide that use this product and it's accurate, it's reliable and it's loved. It's trusted by leading e-commerce accountants. So it's a really good thing to know when the leading people in the industry are using this product and that's because they can count on it. We have a world-class support team. So we have people located all around the world. I'm obviously in little old New Zealand, but we have people in the US and the UK and Europe and Australia um, and Russia. We have people everywhere. So you will be able to find support that's in your market they will understand e-commerce, they understand the product, and they will be more than willing to help you if you have any questions. So just click that live chat support uh, in the on the A2X website. We have over 1,000 independent five-star reviews. So these are across platforms like the Xero App Store, the Shopify App Store, QuickBooks, Comptera, G2, and more. And lastly, A2X is the recognized industry in e-commerce automation and is relied on by five, thousands of e-commerce sellers. I thought I would just quickly open that for any more, if there's any more questions. Thank you for that. And yeah. apologies for the technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, no, no worry. I mean, there, there is no coffee for, for the, for the pieces. So I guess, no, you cannot charge them SCDT or so, but a great presentation, a lot of questions and uh, we'll go to, to the questions in 10 minutes. And I promise oh, to be perfect. quick. And, yep. and we're going to talk again for taxes, but for a different type of tax, the so-called value-added tax. And just to give you some interaction for myself, I used to be an e-commerce seller for 10 years. Uh, I was selling health supplements across Europe, and I had like companies in Malta and Cyprus and Hong Kong, and I was using different tax advisors for each market. And a few years ago, you know, one of my advisors made a mistake, and we paid some high penalties and then i started looking for a, like a one-stop shop one-stop sh shop solution like a2x because obviously having one point of failure is better than 10 or 15 so and this is how i actually found hello tax so I, I used to be client of hello tax before i started running the partnership for them so i know from experience that uh why and what they're doing to help sellers and they have a very interest, interesting story about the company the two co-founders used to be commerce sellers they were chatting in a facebook group they were just sharing you know uh they were just complaining how they have issues with uh, like the vat compliance how they should solve that and they decided to build the software 
So, and this is what they did. They built Hello Tax, which is like a SaaS solution for cross-border sellers across Europe, which is called the VAT compliance. So, and the company is fully remote. We have people everywhere. I'm in Bulgaria, as you can see, the nice background, this is a real picture. You know, I've been there like a week ago, but right now I'm in Sofia, the capital, but it doesn't matter. We've been doing these webinars with partners to educate sellers. So today I'll tell more about the VAT compliance in Europe because after Amazon.com and the US market, Europe is the biggest market uh, for e-commerce sellers. So let me start sharing my screen to do a quick overview of what is health tax and what we do. So what problems are we solving? I mean, obviously, when you expand to Europe, you need to be tax compliant like any other market or any other uh, continent. So uh, why should you expand to Europe? I mean, why should you bother doing that? I mean, so th these are just some, like some stats. I mean, obviously, it's a huge revenue growth. You have access to 400 plus million customers in 27 countries. You can transform your brand from a local to global to one of the biggest markets after the North America. And of course, if your competitors are not doing that, I mean, you can overtake them and do that first. And of course, uh, having like separate locations, you don't just put your bags in one basket. So it's much better like that. But of course, what uh, do you need to know when you're expanding to Europe? First, you need to know your uh, VAT liability from the past, if, if you have been selling, but you didn't register it, and in the future. Also, you need to register in one or more markets in Europe and file returns accordingly to the local jurisdiction. You need to have a view of your goods movement, import, exports. And of course, you need to have complete visibility on all the, the sales on the different channels that you're doing, like Amazon, Shopify, uh, whatever you're using, it doesn't matter. So uh, Europe is complex. I mean, we have different countries, people speak different languages and we have different VT rates. So uh, you need to know that. And obviously we help sellers in regards to that. Uh, another thing, you know, Europe, you know, is different because different countries have different processes and it's not, and the complexity of the VAT registration is different. For example, Poland is one of the easiest and quickest markets registered. Uh, and the hardest one is Spain, where it takes almost three, four months because they want original documents when you apply for the VAT. Then why should you register for VAT? I mean, there is no few simple solutions. Before July 1st, uh, the so-called distance selling threshold limit was one of the reasons when you reach that, you need to register. It was different across Europe, but that's not no longer valid. From July 1st, we have the so-called one-stop shop in Europe, which allows you to use one market as a storage and you can make B2C sales to the rest of Europe. And of course, uh, the other reason is when you store your products in any given country in Europe. If you do that, you need to register for VAT in this market. So this, this is still valid after July 1st this year. So in, when you would like to expand to Europe, there is two major blockers. First, language barrier. And the second is dealing with the taxes and customs. So you say, okay, what, what can we do there? So the first thing, you know, we have partners who do the translations and optimizations for all our partners and clients. And secondly, uh, we have a solution for that because obviously if nobody advises you on what to do, you can say, okay, I want to register UK, I want to register in Germany, I want to register in Spain, Italy, I would like to do all markets. But this is actually a bad approach because if you do that, first, you know, it will take a lot of time. Secondly, you know, some of these markets might not work well for you. So we, we dis decided to build a simpler solution where you can establish yourself in a certain market which provides all the benefits. So this is what we recommend and this is what we do for, for clients. VAT registration in Germany. Why Germany? It's the biggest e-commerce market after Amazon.com US. Then you know, we have a customs partner. So the customs partner help you import the stuff and we do the one-stop shop registration so you can sell across the EU without the need to register in all the markets for VAT. Of course, and we do the, fi the monthly filing and the quarterly OSS filing after you do that. But the idea is that you get 
you have a turnkey solution how to expand to Europe. Simple, nothing special. So, uh, and what we do in offer you guys after you, you establish yourself and we have the VAT in the one-stop shop. We have like a digital uh, VAT returns and registration in our software. We have the data and process verification because you need to be, uh, it needs to be checked by like, like tax advisor in each market. And we have the full visibility and control of your uh, payments and VAT compliance. And of course, uh, like I said in the beginning, seeing is believing. So you might not believe my words, but let me let me show how the tool the tool looks like. So I need to share again on Zoom and I'll show it the demo in a second. Just give me a second. So let's say you know you guys have the V registration. Let's say you go for Germany as we advise most clients, and this is the thing that you need to do. I mean, you log into your account, email, password, like any other login, and you come to the integration page. Uh, right now we have Amazon only, but in September we're going, going live with Shopify, Cdiscount, Kaufland, eBay, BigCommerce, and all the major marketplaces. So uh, the, the process is very simple. You just come here, you put the sale ID and the authorization token of the marketplace that you're using or multiple ones, and that's it. We get the, the the data from the API and there is nothing else that you need to do. And then you go to the dashboard. You can see the data. I mean, this is just some dummy data, but this is how it looks like. like what's your gross turnover, net turnover, total VAT. You can filter by Amazon FBA, your own web shop or whatever else you're using. Uh, you can filter by country, by period. Uh, here is like a sample of the data that we get. We get that from the uh, channels that we're using. Sale, expense, refund given, refund received, and assets movement. In some markets in Europe, you're required to report the movement of goods between different markets. And, and again, you can filter by channels, by VAT country, from which to which country you're moving goods for the assets movement. And after that, we filed a monthly VAT return or the one-stop shop. And then what you need to do, you come here in the dashboard, you just you can just see your v, the VAT return, you download that, pay it, and just confirm payment. Your, the client is liable for that. We're not allowed to do any payments on the behalf of our client. And soon we have um, two in the dashboard with one of our partners who is a FinTech company where you can simply do the payment from the dashboard. So uh, simple SaaS solution to automate your VAT components in Europe. Another thing that we have is like a tax letter inbox. This is a translation tool where we get the communication from the tax authorities for the clients and we have it translated in English and German. So no matter what they require from you, you'll be notified and you will know uh, what to do. And of course, the last part is you can simply add the VAT registrations from here, like one or more or multiple markets, Central European package, pan EU package, or whatever you need. So it's as simple as that. Uh, on the front end, it is a SaaS solution because you guys are not accountants, you know, you don't need to know all this stuff. You just connect your uh, marketplace or whatever channel you're using, and we get the data. And on the back end, because tax are not fully automated and there is multiple markets in Europe. We have account managers speaking multiple languages and we have tax advisors in each market who are actually dealing with the filing, registration, all the manual stuff. So, uh, and what, why can you guys promise you I'm quick and right now it's time for questions because there's a lot of questions. So let's start, Ewan. Ladies first, question for you, anonymous attending. Is uh, A2X software for Europe or US? It's global, but I guess yeah, no, everyone can. Uh... Totally, it's it's global and it supports uh, e-commerce businesses all around the world. So with the UK, it's got a really comprehensive VAT settings. Uh, for the US, you've got your sales tax. For Australia and New Zealand, we've just, you know, you're breaking out the GST. With uh, Canada, there's obviously that's a little bit more complicated. I think there's a beauty of A2X is it's been around for a long time now and we have experts in every, you know, spread around the world. And so they really understand your 
accounting needs and what's happening in your market. So definitely reach out to support if you have any questions around this um, and they'll definitely be able to help you. Okay, oh. another question for you. Everyone saw that from Lucy Jeffrey. You might cover this anyway, but does A2X uh, sync inventory levels from Shopify into zero automatically? Yes, so A2X does have a COGS, like cost of goods sold feature. And this is, this is again, from an, an accounting perspective. So it's to help with your accounting reporting. It is a value based. So you enter in your cost of goods sold or you can upload a spreadsheet. And essentially A2X will, you know, remove as you sell something, will remove it. So your HR, so your COGS is all balanced. Um, and so you've kind of got an overall picture of what your cost of goods sold is. I would say, yeah, we do say, you know, A2X is not an inventory tool. It's uh, and it's an accurate accounting tool. So some people do are happy to just use the cost of goods sold feature at A2X. But if you do really want to have, you know, when you start wanting to get into FIFO or LIFO, or all of those inventory terms that you look for an, an inventory solution as well, you can build like a really great, uh, app stack and have a lot of the back your back office operations automated and A2X with that accounting part and the game there's some inventory solutions that work really nicely across uh, next to A2X and what you just want to be sure is you're not duplicating information that's going into your accounting system so use A2X for accounting so your sales and fees and then you use your inventory solution for your inventory and do not put your sales across because they won't be accurate because they won't be accounting for fees and tra those transactions but that's a long way of saying <laughs> yes a2x does yeah. have a yeah I'll, I'll, I'll summarize i'll, su I'll summarize <laughs> it very shortly you know if a company is telling you that they're expert in everything they're that's not true if everybody's required then nobody's required you need to be expert in specific topic like a to x and you don't you don't want to deal with things that you don't understand so you need to separate the service so a very good recommendation you know uh, another question from you Ewan. hello from anonymous attendee does a to x integrate with molly uh, molly is a european fintech no i will write it down um yeah do uh, I, they're, they're yes. part they're a partner they're a partner of mine, so I'll connect you, like with Bilby. They're net, like a Dutch company. So uh, one question from Edmond Bechara. So this includes also the invoice and the VT calculation. What integration do you have for accounting systems in Germany? Uh, we don't have yet, but we're working for Dativ. We'll have a Dativ integration soon. And we have EasyBill is an invoicing partner. So the integrations that we'll, we'll have soon besides the marketplace that I mentioned are Datif and EasyBill. EasyBill for the invoicing and Datif for the accounting. Uh, another question this thing is for you, Ewan, uh, from Mariani Wabonet. I think I'm reading it right. How to compute COGS in inventory? I don't know what is that. So you, you need to answer it. Yeah, so cost of goods sold again. Um, so you do enter your cost of goods sold into your into A2X. There is an easy calculation. I am not an accountant, so I will not um, say that back to you, but there is an easy calculation to work out your cost of goods sold, what they are. So essentially, what does it cost for you to sell this item of goods? And you will enter that in. And the thing is, you want to be expensing your cost of goods sold as you sell them, quite often people will buy a whole lot of inventory and then expense it straight away. You want to be doing it as cost of goods sold. So as you sell, you're expensing them until eventually, you know, they balance out. I would, we've got some awesome blogs on this kind of, on this stuff. But again, I would really recommend looking at an e-commerce accountant who will really understand that. Um, but this is a really handy feature. Again, if you are interested in using this, you can head uh, to A2X website and just use the live chat. And there's we have chartered accountants and bookkeepers as our support people. So they'll be able to really be able to help you. I just don't want to put anyone wrong. <laughs> You're doing it perfectly. And so another question, I think this one is from me from Anonymous Tendi. What is the difference between VAT monthly filing and the OSS quarterly filing? 
already are aren't they filing the same thing not they're not uh, the vt is filing b2b transactions and the uh, one stop shop is filing only b2c transactions so just to give an example when you register in europe you know if you're like a non new company you need to establish first a vt so you can import the stock and sell to europe and then you set up the one stop shop as a second step so you can make b2c sales to the rest of europe this is the easiest alternative. The hardest part is you do VAT in each market where you store goods and you sell, meaning that it's more expense for you and you don't know in advance how your sales are going to work out there. So my advice is always test, never make assumptions. And obviously, because I've done it myself, I've used sell across Europe and we, we have always been testing markets before we expand. Because even now, when I have a call from my accountant, they have goosebumps on my skin i hate accounting honestly so just do, do the easy part and listen to their advice you know if somebody tells you go and do it in every market no don't believe them you know you should test and optimize based on how your sales are going so uh that's for this question this is another question from lucy jeffrey this one the first one is from me when you integrate with shopify we will tell customers to pay vat up upfront as part of their orders so their order won't be delayed going into europe uh, i think you're if you're asking for that i think you're, if you're asking when you're selling outside of if you make sales outside of eu uh to eu clients then you're you you need to use the so-called import one-stop shop we, we don't offer that but we have a partner who is doing that because the sale you know when you're doing in europe like one-stop shop or the VAT is the destination is where the VAT is charged. So this is charged at the point of sale. Uh, another question for me, do you have a pay as you go pricing option, pay per order to help small business scale up? Okay, I have actually a very good news for you. We'll see, our software is free. So you don't pay for that. I mean, if you, if you are not registered with us, no, you can just use the software. And only when you need to register for VT, then you can start paying us. But our pricing is pretty fixed. If you sell like 10,000 per year, or if you sell 10 million, it's a fixed fee per year. And I will send you more about the pricing, but we don't charge per order. We don't charge like a percentage of the revenue. It's a fixed fee. No matter how much you're saying, it's a fee for VT or one-stop registration per, per country. So this is how it works on our side. Uh, one question. Uh, hey, from somebody anonymous, could Heltax take over current VAT accounts and help us to reconcile payments? We do that all the time. I think you're referring to the backdating and uh, we have a lot of times people who come to us and they say, okay, we have backdating for two years and we need to take over, pay that, so we're compliant. So we do that all the time. Also, we work with a lot of tax advisors, agencies, accountants, and some of the so-called e-commerce aggregators. These are the, buy, the guys who are buying multiple brands. So most of the time they buy brand, we take it take it over from their current vendor, and we automate everything on our side so they can continue scaling and growing the business. So that's, that's the one thing in common with, with health tax and network. This is why we're having this webinar. We automate stuff and we save you guys time, respectively money, of course. Another question, this one is for you, Ewan, from Don. Uh, does A2X play nicely with ERP and inventory management solutions? Uh, I'm not yeah, sure what so, they mean for play nicely. Uh, yeah, so ultimately A2X is sitting in between those systems that we mentioned, that I mentioned, the accounting systems, uh, Zero, Sage, and QuickBooks Online, but we do we do have customers that use A2X, for example, for QuickBooks Desktop, and you can download, obviously it's not that fully automated solution, but it's that accuracy, which at the end of the day is definitely the most important. So you can download all of the transactions as the summarized uh, journal entry and enter that into your ERP. As for inventory management solutions, yes, A2X can work, does work nicely, 
uh, next to um, inventory management solutions and we have really close relationships with those solutions and again it's just about being careful that you are not duplicating information into your accounting system so for example inventory tools aren't going to break down all of those sales and fees and it's not that if you're using an, an inventory sales amount it's not going to reconcile to that bank deposit but with, if you're using that inventory solution, obviously you're going to have really accurate um, overview of your inventory. So you can use them nicely. It's just how you set them up. And we do have some support articles. And again, always keep coming back to it, but I just, our support is out of this world. So hit them up. Yeah, I mean, this is why they have thousand post reviews. I mean, you don't get that many re reviews, you no, know, for doing nothing. I mean, they provide quality work and they educate clients. And this is no one one thing you know that this actually we have a news here because on, on my side we always organize webinars and the reason we're having the webinar with a1 and a2x is because you now they're one of the partners that we're planning to in integration with because obviously accounting and vat components they go hand hand to hand so this is why first we do the webinar we educate you guys about what you do what how we help and then, you know, we, we can we'll build the technology so we can facilitate everybody. And like Kevin said, we had a great book with all the articles, A to Z, the alphabet of VAT in Europe, a one-stop shop, everything. So another question from Donna Quark. Is the hell tax app something you integrate into an accounting system like zero? like the A2X app or is it, is an accounting system in its own right? Actually, I mean, it's not an accounting system because uh, the VAT component is something different. So our tool is specifically built as a VAT compliance tool. So accounting is separate. Now we can have like QuickBooks, we can have like zero, you can have data for Germany. So this is why we're building these integrations with the German uh, accounting software and this is why we're going to do one with A2X for these specific reasons because a lot of our clients need bookkeeping accounting and we refer them to partners for clients because we don't offer that. Ours too is only VT compliance for cross-border sales across Europe. That, that's what we do. Another question from Andrew. When will Hill Tax integrate with Shopify? It should be live uh, at the end of this month and we already are partners with Shopify. So all Shopify coins, they get a 25% off if they use our service. So I'll send more information about that after the event. Uh, one question from Jennifer, I think this is for you. We need a way to have visibility of inventory in item numbers as well as values if we do not track through zero. Can A2X do that or do we need something else? Um, I would like to know a little bit more before answering that. Um, what platform are you selling on? Are you using FBA or is this your own? Are you fulfilling this yourself? Amazon, cool. Yeah, A2X can show you um, where your, your inventory count essentially, um, as well as your cost of goods sold. And also you can see whereabouts it is um, and all of that good stuff. But again, yeah please reach out to support like when it comes to all the technical things i'm not like i'm not the expert and compared to someone like iona who yeah Jen, Jen, is jennifer, jennifer yeah. is re referring to amazon i'm not sure if you saw that uh, yeah 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 i did yeah that's why okay. i started to answer yeah okay okay jennifer we'll, we'll send yeah. an email also actually a question from jennifer so how many of each product i guess that's that's the question yeah, I'm just trying to work this out for if you actually, because you can split by product type, but I, whether or not that gives you the ultimate, like the actual count of it, I know you can split by product type. Um, I would, I mean, if you are happy to give me your email, I'll get back to you with a detailed answer because I just don't want to say something and it's wrong. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, and why like I said, no, once we're done with the Q&A section, We'll send everybody the recording. And in the recording, you have uh, Ellen's email and my email. So you'll be able to get in touch with us and we can uh, book a free consultation with our VT sales managers or Ellen can do that with their team. So we can answer the more, more specific questions because obviously no, uh, there is 
thousands of questions. So we're just covering, you know, what we do, how we help and who we're helping and what we're doing for the e-commerce area. So uh, Jenny Simpson, uh, I'll, I'll actually send the email directly to everyone so she can get back to you. So here it is. Yeah, I've got your email uh, any more questions? Okay. Guys, do you have more questions? I have a few more questions from people who did not join because they had something to do. Let me just see them and I guess we can wrap it up. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, so one question which is from Matini who didn't join. Does A2X push settlements through automatically? I'm not sure if you answered that already. Oh, we've got some more questions. Oh, cool. Uh, yes. So A2X does, you can put it onto auto post. So it's literally just happening in the background and all you're doing is reconciling in your accounting system. However, you this can also worry some people. So you have the option, right? You can choose if you want to post it and you can make sure everything is working as it should um, and that you're happy with it. But yeah, so it's totally up to you. You have flexibility with that. Have we lost you? Yeah, I think I lost for a second, but I guess you're you're, you're here again. Oh gosh, sorry. Did you did you get to have? Did you hear my answer? Yeah, I, I think we got an answer. And actually, I think we don't have any more questions. So oh. uh, there was a, a lot of questions, guys. So. I'm sure you might have more questions eventually. If you do that, I mean, I will send the recording shortly. You can get in touch with Ewan uh, and with me, and we can go from there. We can have a consultation. I'm sure Ewan provides that as well, and we can have all the other technical questions and yeah. do the demo with you guys. So th thank you for joining the event, and special thanks for Ewan. For somebody who woke up at 5 p.m., you look like crispy cucumber, as we say <laughs> in Bulgaria. So <laughs> well, thanks th thanks for waking up that early uh, I'm sure everybody okay. enjoyed that thank you for having me that was great and it was really good to learn about Hello Tax as well what a cool solution and yeah thank you to everyone that came along and Jenny I will be reaching out to you with an answer to your question but thank you everyone okay thank you everybody next time we'll do a webinar with Tatrix we'll have the integration already so you can see how we got how we got the education into relationships so <laughs> thank you for for everybody for joining and in the, the rest of the day everyone for everybody who is in europe enjoy your night take care everybody bye for now